I gotta excuse my hair because I ain't had a chance to get a haircut in the past like week and a half. So I'm a little bit extra scruffy. Yeah. I'm lazy. I mean, it worked. When, when I had a chance to get a haircut. Anyway, hey, what's mm -hmm. up, everybody? This is Bree. I'm back again with another video. Something in my nose. Another video. Another video. And this video is going to be a tag. I think it's called a boyfriend tag. I think that's what it's called. And Steve is my boyfriend, so we're gonna do this tag. And what it is, it's a, just a series of questions that I have here, and we're gonna answer them, okay? Steve, you ready? I'm born ready. Anyway, question number one. Where did we meet? I don't think a lot of people know that um, we met on the internet. We met on this website called Tagged, where a whole bunch of <laughs> a whole bunch of ratchet dudes and and little thought little girls be on. Yeah, we did meet on Tag. We did, and I think I wrote him first on Tag. And then, like when I was looking at your uh your pictures, like a couple of them was ugly. I was like, I don't know if I want to write him or not. He had like one picture that was okay. I think it was a picture you had did a little bathroom selfie. You know what I'm talking about? I had my little faves. I, you, you already told me what pictures it was you didn't like. Mm -hmm. It was like when I, I had a fresh haircut, I had a blackout and all that shit, and I was like this. I'm gonna put a picture right here. Right there. That's when I was skinny and shit. <laughs> all right. So. Question number two, where was our first date? <laughs> Shut up, Steve. Our first date was <laughs> Our first date was at Applebee's. Yeah. She cause uh I remember I asked Bree to be my girlfriend. She's like, I ain't gonna be your girlfriend until you take me on a date. My pockets was a little bit, you know what I'm saying? On the low side. So we went to Applebee's. <laughs> like, you gonna be my girlfriend. Yeah, we went to Applebee's. Probably got there two for 20. It wasn't, man. I bought you what you want. Don't do that. <laughs> but, uh, hold on. Don't, don't, don't try to skip past and go to the next I question. I am trying to skip past and go so, to the next question. <laughs> my favorite memory of that date, Bree had these heels on. And, like, the bottom of the heel had, like, he rolled it away or some shit to where it wasn't nothing but, like, a little metal piece. You could hear it, like, hitting the ground. I was like, hold on, you gonna start fire. <laughs> <laughs> and what's crazy, Bree, she 5'10". I'm 6'6", six, six, she 5'10". So when she wear heels, she's like, my height. Weed me the fuck out. She's gonna start a fire at that parking lot that night. Shut up. You ain't gonna never let that die. Nope. <laughs> okay, what was your first impression of me? And I'm gonna tell you my first impression of you. My first impression of Bree. Is she was more mature than any other girl that I talked to in quite a while. Uh, I wasn't trying to find no girl that was childish and shit and about games and everything. And she was the exact opposite of that. So that was my first impression of Brie. Well, my first impression is a little bit different because when I had went over Steve's house, when I had met him for the first time, because we just said that we met on the internet, I thought that he was kind of weird because he kept telling me that his bed was a Serta. <laughs> he was real proud of his bed. He was like, yeah, I got this Serta bed. And he just kept saying it. He was like, yeah, I got this Serta. That's my Serta right there. I got a Serta bed. I got this Serta mattress. I'm like, he weird. Let me give you some background on why I was so happy about that goddamn bed. I told you why I was so happy. <laughs> you found out why later on. All right, so before, this is like, like right after I moved out. I got this bed uh, from like Best Way. It was a rent to own bed. It was new. Nobody slept on the bed before me. So you, so you think? Nah, fuck that. It came <laughs> I, I had to take the plastic off my damn self. Don't do that. 
box screen, all that shit. It was brand new. Uh, the bed I had before that was like a, a old bunk bed I, I had when I stayed with my mom and everything. And the mattress was like so old and the, and the springs was like broken and shit. And I would lay in the bed and it was like, brum, brum, brum. like, like, if I, if like the bed was gonna fall apart and shit. I'm talking about like springs coming out the mattress and shit to the point like where it was tearing holes in my like my, my drawers and my, my basketball shorts and shit. <laughs> like, she laughed because I didn't show her the shorts. I still got them. I got my junior high shorts. I got my high school shorts. I got all them shorts still. And like they, yeah, they got bullet holes in them. <laughs> they got first of all, they under shorts. I I'll never wear them shorts outside the house. Them them my sleeping in shorts. You know what I'm saying, fella? You know what I'm talking about. But like yeah, like it, it was it was fucking up my shorts and everything. Like fuck that bed. So when I before I met her, I had air mattress for a long time. Like that was my first bed that I bought myself. Rent to own, whatever you want to call it. It was my first bed where I was like, I was proud of that motherfucker. It was name brand and shit. I'm like, yeah, I got me a servant. So the whole time, <laughs> the whole time we was, we was talking and everything, I was like, yeah, man, it's, you like my bed? I like this motherfucker too. I was so proud of that motherfucker. <laughs> like, he was. She, 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 she kept saying it. She's Serta. She my Serta. Thought, she probably thought I was trying to brag or something like that. No, I was proud of that motherfucker because of where I came from. <laughs> That motherfucking bed I had was so fucking terrible. When did you meet the family? Oh, really, my mama? When right. did you meet her? When I met your mama. I don't remember when you met her. I remember when I met your mama because I was scared as hell when I met her. Because he had me scared to meet his mama. I was scared. I think you met her on what? It was after Christmas? I don't know. It might have been after Christmas. I remember um, that day. So, y'all well, might she, not. <laughs> Get the hell out of me. She said, Al, she said, her secret. All right. How you doing? <laughs> I was scared. All right, so background is why, why Brie was so scared of my mom. I had this old girlfriend before who my mom hated. I mean, like, talk shit about it and everything. Like, despised. You know what I'm saying? And y'all may not know it, but her actual real name is Brittany. His girlfriend name was Brittany, too. So, <laughs> I still don't call you Brittany around my mom and everything. It's crazy. I changed my name. Mm, your name is Brittany. Anywho, that's why she was scared of my mom and everything. So I, had, I had told the stories about how she hated my ex-girlfriend and everything. So, yeah, he had me scared. My mom didn't even know her real name was Brittany and everything. She sat down and started talking to her. She was like, oh, I ain't got no problem. She cool. I don't give a damn what her name is. Yeah, that's after she had she had to ask me a, a few questions. She's coached you out a little bit. Yeah, she did. She did. I promise y'all. She sat there. She she had her legs crossed. I can't see my legs. She had her legs crossed a little bit. She was like this. No, it's Newport 100. That stick around that long. Oh, well, this is a pen. Yeah. <laughs> when I first met Bree's mom, I was like, I, I don't remember when it was. I don't, I don't remember think she either. gave me. The, the, I don't think she gave me asked me a lot of questions and everything, but. You must have talked me up good and everything, cause she, she don't seem to like me. I don't even remember. Um, How long have we been together? Okay, this is a disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> because when we first met each other, y'all know we met on the internet, right? And I had no intentions of finding a boyfriend. Nor he had intentions no finding intentions of finding a girlfriend. She is real and cool. Y'all will know when we hooked up. What year did we hook up? 2011, probably. Uh, we don't remember the day. We don't remember no day. So, anniversary, probably. Well, we, we don't remember no day. Whenever we get married, that'd be anniversary going forward. Right. We don't remember no day. So, we've been together since, what, 2011? It's 2016 for me, 2017. Yeah. So, we've been together almost, what, six years? It don't seem like it. it won't no, it day. don't. But at the same time, when you met me, Chris was in junior high. Yeah, Chris was in junior high. And Chris was like in the same age. Yeah. So, Old ass Chris. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what was our first road trip? That had to be when we went to Dallas. Casino. That what? Which casino we go to? What's the That's like not a real road trip. No, it's not. We stayed at night though. We did? Yeah. We did? Yep. We stayed at uh, a roll house. We, we spent most of our money at, uh, at Gold Strike. 
You talking about that hotel room they had that nasty jacuzzi tub in there? Yeah, it had blood in it. It did not. It did not. Don't listen to him. It, it did some, not. It had some red shit on the side of it. To me, it did I, not. I, I don't listen blood. to that. Don't listen to that. <laughs> it did not. And no, we didn't use it. Did we find a syringe in the uh under the Steve, bed? Steve, we did not. Don't listen to him. We found a lighter in the bed. Yeah, it was a lighter. Somebody was gonna smoke a blunt. <laughs> Wasn't us. We don't smoke. Um. But we did go to Dallas like uh, sometime like. A few we went. Years ago. We went for a Valentine's Day yeah. this year. Yeah, it's bad. Year. Damn, we ain't went nowhere. <laughs> we ain't went nowhere. We've been together this whole time. We ain't, we don't really go nowhere. It's bad. We gotta do better. People in the comments gonna be like, Steve ain't shit. He ain't took you out of town. I, I plan on taking her out of town more often. We went to a basketball game here recently. You know what I'm saying? We, I, I wanna I wanna take her out, you know what I'm saying? Show my girlfriend and everything. She's so fine. Steve, what is my favorite restaurant? Shit you don't eat. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you how Breeze eating habits have changed when we got the other. I can remember me, uh, like we first in, in the talking phase and everything. When I found out she liked me and everything, I like her. I had, um, I had took us to McDonald's because she used to like McDonald's chicken nuggets and everything. And she tried to play it off so hard that she wasn't really hungry, but she ate one of them chicken nuggets. And then once she got down to her <laughs> stomach, the said, burr, burr, burr. Like, <laughs> "You used to let that die too." <laughs> I ain't hungry. <laughs> I'm like, you eat them chicken nuggets. <laughs> so I'm talking to you. But now, like, since then, I mean, Brie won't touch fast food. I mean, I, if I had to say your favorite restaurant now, it'd probably be something like a uh, favorite restaurant. Panera, that's a deli. Yup, yup. <laughs> a deli that has soup, sandwiches, and salads. And, this, this and my baked stuff. potatoes. And baked potatoes. Okay, so let me tell y'all Steve's favorite restaurant. It's this place here called Eat My Catfish, and Steve loves catfish. Hold on. Before we get into this, Brie likes to argue that my favorite food is chicken wings. No, my favorite food is not chicken wings. My favorite food is catfish. Your favorite food is chicken wings when catfish is not available. Damn right. <laughs> but I love eating my catfish, man. It's, it's, a, it's a little... Uh, a little restaurant just started out in like Benton, Arkansas. It started like a little, like a little food truck thing, mm -hmm. and they moved across the street. They, they catfish is like delicious. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, and they fucked around and put one in our city, mm -hmm. and I didn't ate there like twelve times since they, since they opened you up. You need to stop. See, she she was afraid I was gonna eat that shit every day and wear it out. I probably go like once every two weeks. That's a lot. He probably go once a week. No, nah, I don't got money like that. If you had the money, you would do it. I probably would eat there once a week. And then, um, Steve eat a lot of wing stock too. Hey, that one sponsor me. It's one of them for the low. Yeah, he eat a lot of wing stock. <laughs> I probably eat that more than eat my catfish only because, it's, I mean, catfish is more a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. Let me pepper my wings. You ain't, uh, Rick Ross? Flats only, yes. Okay, Steve. What is one food that I do not like? One food you do not like? Yes. Hmm. So much food you don't like, honestly. No, it's not. Fast food. I like fast food. I just don't eat a lot of it. What fast food do you like? Chick Fil A. What other fast food do you like? I used to like Chipotle until they had this, this shit going on. Chipotle hasn't had anything going on like a year, but you still went there no more. Hey, I ain't taking no chances. Your favorite fast food? I mean, your favorite food? The, the, oh, uh, something you won't eat? Yeah, something that I won't eat. He don't answer this question. I don't know why it's taking him so long. There's actually a lot of stuff you won't eat. I've been trying to eat sushi for like years. Look, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> a big adventurous eater when it comes to like, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. But that's not it, Steve. That's not what I was thinking about. What food you won't eat? I won't eat. Sonic? I'ma slap him. You don't fuck with Sonic no more. I'ma slap him. <laughs> I can't think of no other food you Steve, you know I don't like chocolate. Oh, it, 
I don't like I, I think your channel already knows that you don't like chocolate. I don't know if they know or not. So, it's one of those weird things where I eat chocolate to an extent. Like, I don't like chocolate ice cream. That shit is disgusting. Yes, it is. But I eat like a candy bar or I eat like uh, my favorite cake is like yellow cake with chocolate ice. I disgusting. Like that. It's not. Yes, it is. Shout out to mom. Good ass cake. It's but, like, um, I like but some. She eats Snickers. I eat some chocolate, but it has to be more of something else other than chocolate. So I'll eat a Reese's because it's more peanut butter than it is chocolate, but I will not eat a regular Hershey's bar. I will not drink chocolate milk. I don't like chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> hey, so we had a discussion about that whenever we do have, decide to have kids. Like, uh, what kind of cookies we gonna make? Because I, I love chocolate chip cookies, especially the ones with walnuts. And we just like sugar cookies. So, you know, kids, like, hey, you wanna make sugar cookies or chocolate chip cookies? I want to make chocolate chip cookies, man. It's okay, y'all. Eat it together. I don't want none. <laughs> I don't like brownies either. They nasty. Hate it. What do we argue about the most? You can answer yourself. We don't really argue. We too much of the same personality where we, we both laid back and goofy and kind of passive. And, like, we kind of avoid things that make the other person upset. I think the main thing Bree fussing me about is, like, me having clothes everywhere. Or a newspaper. No, I'm not the oh yeah, in the newspaper. <laughs> so I He got a newspaper subscription. He been doing good this time, but the last time he had a newspaper subscription, it was so many newspapers sitting outside our door because I had I went on strike from picking up the newspaper. It was just like newspapers everywhere. Like and here goes papers. newspaper thing right here. The papers in the room. It's, it's newspaper all day here on this floor. Actually, them Sunday papers I put over there so you can keep one. Okay. But he doing better this time. Damn straight. <laughs> and another thing, like, we don't really have, like, big arguments. But, like, I get mad when Steve be on my side of the bed. It really makes me mad. Like, it really makes me mad. And let me tell y'all something. We sleep in the bed with two couples. Two. Too. He got his own. I got my own. Is she's that selfish. weird? No, she's selfish. Is that weird? Very selfish. <laughs> Is that weird? So I like a cold in the bed. Like perfect example. I wanted to buy this thing called a bed fan back in the day. It's a it's a little fan you put on the side of the bed to blow AC under the bed. Like it's cool. I like I like being cold when I sleep. Why would you want to be under the cover and cold? That makes no sense. They sell a whole bunch of motherfuckers. That's why he got his own cover. I got my own cover because when I'm under the cover with Steve, it's always cold because he keeps a hole open somewhere and then uh, like the air blowing up under the cover and I be like, hey, it's kind of cold. I be like. This, this, this is how Bree sleep. She, she, she will literally take the blanket and just like, like wrap all the way up to the point where <laughs> you can't see nothing but her head. I'm like. Bree, let me get a blanket with you and hold you. And nah, then I get like mad, be like, Steve, you on my side of the bed. Time out. Fellas, ladies, y'all know yourselves. Women tend to take up about 70% of the bed. Lies. Steve, you take up more of the bed than me. Now. Steve, I'll be about to fall out the bed. Now. Before before we move to this apartment, Bree, you, you had it up. Like, you would. So, this is what she would do. Bree would ease over to the middle part of the bed to be close to me and everything. When we step on the same blanket. But if you look on the other side of Bree, you get all this space right here. Now that's how all it is with space. Steve. Nah, I'm just a big dude, so I'd I be laying like this. Nah, it'd be space on the other side. And I, I wake him up. I can't deal with that. I'd be like, hey. You'd be like, hmm. I don't be awake. I'd be <laughs> like, hmm. I said, can you move over? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So Bree's gonna mess with me when I'm asleep. Because <laughs> apparently I talk in my sleep. And she be having a whole conversation with me talking shit. It's some um, in my vlogs. I can't remember what day it's on there, but mm -hmm. it's some um, in the vlogs. I think channel. it's on. If you want to uh, hear Steve talking in his sleep, go back and watch um, with Hello November, something about Black Friday. It's in that one. He was yeah. talking in his sleep because he worked Black Friday. It don't count. I was tired as fuck. Yeah, you was really talking. But it, Oh, I forgot. We had no question. Steve, if I'm watching TV, what am I watching? A few shows. It's either going to be uh, that show with the the, the the dancer girls. Bring it. Um, sometimes you watch uh, 
Real Housewives. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Or um, we watch a whole bunch of Big Brother and Survivors like yeah. that. If Steve is watching TV, what is on TV? Uh, it's either NBA TV, ESPN, uh, one or two. Uh, if he not watching that, then you probably watching two other things. Cartoons. Rick and Morty. I watch cartoons in general. Anime. He, he watched uh, like Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Power Rangers. Power Rangers. He watches that. Or some education because I watch a lot of documentaries and like animal fun and shit like that. A lot of Nat Geo. Yeah. I'm a nerd in case y'all didn't know. Yeah, big nerd. He like Harry Potter and stuff. I read all seven. I got all seven books in the back. I got all eight DVDs and well, Blu-rays in the living room. So yeah. And Star Wars. Yeah, I got all the DVDs on that too. Mm -hmm. But like I like educational shit because Quiz Bowl is champ and Gavin and all that shit. He the brains of this relationship. I'm not smart. I'm just... He the brains of this relationship. When I got a question, he be knowing words I don't know the definition to, so I just ask them. I'm a grammar Nazi, too. I ask Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what can I spend hours doing, Steve? Editing videos. And? Shopping. <laughs> Listen, if I want to give Bri a gift and I don't know exactly what to give her, I'll get Brie a gift card to one of her favorite stores and she'll spend hours doing it. Brie type person, she'll, she likes shopping for other people. If I say, Brie, I'm gonna give you $100, go get something for my mom. She'll enjoy the day shopping for stuff and, and come back with like everything because she she's she's a smart shopper. She coupons. Mm -hmm. I haven't had, had to buy deodorant, tissue, soap. Well, we've been having to buy tissue. Well, yeah, yeah, that's race niggas crazy over here. She a lot. But <laughs> I haven't had to buy none of that stuff in the past. Yeah, we, had, we, had, we haven't, we like haven't bought none of that stuff in a long time. Because he coupon. And, it. uh, did you say laundry detergent? Yeah. Yeah, we, we running low on that now. And well, we, we got that back in, what, 2014? 13. 2013. And we just now running low on laundry detergent. She bragging like a mother. <laughs> I get dizzy. So, what can Steve spend all, uh, hours doing? Playing 2K. Or in real life basketball. Playing 2K. I play basketball a lot. I, I play a lot less than I used to. Because like every Thursday, what was I doing when I got out of work? Going to the gym, open. Yeah. This is a while ago. Every Thursday, I was to track and I used to be all sweaty and shit and try to hug the breach but... I remember Brie came to one of my basketball games in like a church league and everything. And I wanted to go hug and she was like, Right, don't you get all this sweating stuff on me? But she don't know is that uh, Keith got me signed up for a league coming in the spring. Since when? Back to hooping, baby. Okay. If I'm not hooping or something like that, I'm probably like uh, watching TV, watching basketball. Playing the game, that's what he do. I watch TV. And uh, listening to YouTube videos. Yeah. At the same time. At yeah. the same time. I don't understand that. He'll have a YouTube video playing on his phone. And it used to be real bad when he used to watch Game of Thrones. He used to watch that. He'd have his phone sitting like right here. And then he'd be playing the game. And he'd looking up at the thing. He got his LG tones in. And he doing like this. Speaking of 